Hey guys, Jacob Dupre here. I'm going to show you how to reverse audio in FL Studio 20. First, we need to insert a piece of audio into our project. Let's go into Packs and find something we like. Let's go to Vocals. And how about this one? I remember that. I remember that. Let's put that in there. I remember. So now it is added into track one. Now, if we want to edit it, we just double click and it opens the sampler window. And to reverse it, we simply click reverse. Now, when we play back, uh, remember. it's in reverse. Say you want to make one sample that plays forwards and a second one that plays in reverse. Let's do that. Let's first turn reverse off. So this one will be our forward sample. And then we'll just duplicate and make another one over here. Now we'll go to the drop down menu on the second copy we made and go to make unique. Now it has created another version of this vocal sample. We double click on here and click reverse. Now we have one version of this sample that plays forward and another one that plays in reverse. I remember that. I remember. I you can also reverse a pattern, but you have to change it to a wave file first. Let's get rid of these vocal samples and add in a pattern. This is a contact instrument. Let's listen to this sound. It's pretty cool, right? But let's say we want to reverse that sound. First, we have to select a region that we want to turn into a WAV file. You want to select something that's a little bit longer than just the note itself because as you saw when I played that back, this sound has a tail because it continues going after this MIDI note has ended. So let's select this region here because it goes a little bit farther out. And then we'll go to the channel that this sound is routed to. And in this case, we have it going to channel 5 in the mixer. We'll arm that track for recording. Now it's armed for disc recording. Then we'll go to the drop down menu and go to disk recording and render to wave file. You have some options you can change here, but we're going to go ahead and press start. And now we have rendered our pattern as a wave file. We can get rid of this pattern and play the sound as normal. To reverse it, we do the same as before. We double click the audio region and click reverse. Now we have reversed our pattern. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please comment them below. Thanks for watching.